Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. Now we're out and about today at the Barrowcliff School in Scarborough with the deputy head teacher Paul Johnson. Now Paul, this is a very special day for Barrowcliff School. Tell us all about it. It is. It's the opening and dedication of our World War One Peace Garden and train simulation that we've built on the school field. So why have you done it? Well, it's very important for the children to relive history and with Scarborough being bombarded in 1914, we felt that it was an important year, as it was at the centenary, that the children actually re found about their history locally, nationally and internationally. So how many children have taken part? Well, all of the juniors, which is just over 200 children, uh, have been involved in it and also our year two children, so another 100. Uh, so they've been involved going to the Imperial War Museum, designing the trench, going out and looking at its, its construction, uh, planting the poppies uh, and really taking a keen interest in its development over the past two, three months. I think it's a lovely idea, but who got the idea in the first place? I think I'm getting the blame for that. <laughs> so it's your fault? <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, but it's been a tremendous amount of work uh, among everybody, a real team effort. Uh, Tim and Ian from the Grounds Maintenance Team of the Borough Council, Tracy Shaw, uh, we've really taken it on and the children have loved it. Uh, right from when we went to the Imperial War Museum, setting off at seven o'clock in the morning, taking them to them, actually designing it, seeing it as its construction. The development has been very important because then they feel an ownership of it as well. So Paul, how long has it taken to get it up and running? Uh, we've probably started talking about it around Easter time, uh, you know, with initial plans, the concept, looking at what, how we were going to do it the right area and then working with the borough council and looking at how we're going to develop it and they've been a trim they've done a tremendous amount of work and really taken our designs from paper into the real life simulation that you see so we've got loads of people here loads of dignitaries we who's have. here today uh, we've got the mayor of scarborough and a consort uh, we've got mr and mrs anderson who's the pre president of the british legion scarborough branch we've got mr and mrs fox from the richard fox memorial fund who donated our flagpole at the front of school when we were given the help the heroes flag in june uh, and we've got veterans, we've got standard bearers, uh, we've got Reverend Fernie here who's going to lead our service of Thanksgiving. Uh, so we've got a really good contingent from all the uh, forces with us today. Yeah, it looks like it's taking place already it in the is. room we've behind us. We've got a piper and we've got a bugler here as well to sound the last post for us and the piper's leading the children out uh, to today's service on the field. So is the trench going to be here for all time? It is, we're going to leave it here definitely for the next four years uh, because our topic of course will be then repeated in four years mm -hmm. and also we're inviting other schools and locals to come and look at it because it's a, I think it really brings history to life for them uh, and we're, as today we have brought, invited some parents and some of the locals who have seen it being built and gave us some wonderful comments over the past few weeks. And I believe you've got a machine gun as well. We have got the machine gun up there as well. I bet the kids are queuing up to have a go with that. <laughs> they are, they are, yeah. they're being very respectful though and showing, yeah. uh, really thinking when they're up there what it meant. And it's, I think they're really understanding what it must have been like for the men who were in those trenches serving. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for their tomorrow we gain our today. And now with Councillor Pat Marsberg, our very own Mayor of Scarborough. What a lovely lady she is as well. Now, Pat, what a great day yes. here at the Barrowcliff School. Yes, it really was, and I feel very privileged that they asked me to attend. Yeah, of course, it's the First World War Trench. Yes, that's true, and I'm going to have a look at it all in a minute, and hopefully they'll send me a photograph. Yeah, I oh. think it's excellent work by look of it. And weren't all the children good? Oh, excellent, respectful, patient, 
and well behaved and what more can you say of a school? Well it's lovely to see you again and I think it's great, you know, this is what a great idea. I think it is yeah. because it brings the young and the older generations together and it'll take into account their grandmas, granddads and great granddads and I think there's nothing better than something practical to look at and so they can come and wander when they want, it's on their play area. Pass, great to see you again my love. Thank you.